hi in the last video what we looked at is the cell address so in this particular case e4 is a cell address for the selected and highlighted cell uh, now we would go further and try to see how can we rename cells to more meaningful uh, sorry to depict more meaningful information now supposedly there is this very simple situation wherein this SP stands for selling price the next is the number of units sold fixed costs variable cost per unit and we want to determine the profits now let us assume that the selling price is 20 and uh, so this 20 since it is rupees 20 we would like to convert this this 20 into rupees to be represented as rupees 20 uh, I can go to the home tab journal where I can format the numbers I select the dollar sign I see a dollar pound euro uh, yuans but I am I'm not able to see the rupee sign so I can go to more accounting formats and I'll be taken to this screen wherein I go to symbol drop down and I scroll down to till I find my desired sign which typically is a rupee sign and English India I see they are moving systematically I have euros and here I see rupee English India I select this and say OK and you see that this 20 is converted to rupees 20 the number the unit so let us say is 20,000 the fixed cost let us just assume it to be a number 50,000 and 50,000 again is supposed to be rupees so one option is that I go back and convert this into rupees alternatively I could select this and go to format painter which essentially would pick up the format of the selected cell and paste it the moment I see hash that essentially means that the content of the cell is large compared to the cell width so I can simply go and double click next to the cell and I'll get my information reflected in the right manner let us assume that the variable cost is 8 and I get the rupee sign here now what I want to do is calculate the profit and in order to do so I s typically in Excel I would start any formula uh, with a equal to sign so the profit would essentially be equal to the selling price minus the variable cost into the unit sold and minus the fixed cost right so that essentially means selling price minus variable cost I am using the arrow keys to navigate through the cells so my selling price minus variable cost into the unit sold so this would essentially tell give me the contribution and minus my fixed expenses I get the profit right now if I go to the cell which had the profit you see here I'm getting the cell address that's E10 and here I am getting the details of what is the formula within this cell so though on the surface one would see it's a 190,000 right but how did we get this 190,000 the moment you go there you can see the details of this you can also get these details reflected here when you press the control and the epsilon sign which essentially is the key just before one on your keyboard so control and epsilon would give you uh, the reflection of what the cell contain and since it's a toggle button so control and epsilon back again would give you the same thing now what we are trying to do is get cell address so this e ones four fives and sevens doesn't say much about how do how did we exactly get the data so there is this very interesting way of getting the cell reference 
I select the values against the names for those values. I go to formulas. I go to and this is the name manager which essentially is the sub tab under define names. I go to create from selection. So left column essentially means the left to the values would be the name defined for each cell here. And as soon as I see say OK, you see this particular icon which is essentially the reflection of tags for the numbers. And now when I go to 20, right, you see that earlier it was a E4 but now this E4 has a different name and that's SP and that is what is being represented here. Similarly the unit sold, the fixed cost and variable cost per unit and now when you redo the formula that is your selling price minus your variable cost into your unit sold minus your fixed expenses. You get the details of the formula here. Hope you enjoyed this particular session.